Hi, I'm Dr. Sam. Today I want to talk about premonition through your intuition. Now you've heard possibly what premonition is. Like you have a sense that's maybe dangerous going on in the next room and you go in real quick and you notice that your child has a clothes hanger and he's going to stick it into the electrical outlet. Premonitions, we all have them and they're funny feelings. Uh, I've talked to people and patients of mine that they said that before a loved one died, they had a premonition and they felt that something happened. And I've had also patients of mine tell me that they've had a premonition about a child of theirs and they pick up the phone and they call and the son says, yeah, mom, something did happen to me, but no worries. I just broke my leg. That's all that happened. I'm safe now. It was just my leg. And so I've, I can't tell you how many times I've gotten those type of situations. So premonition. Today what I have is I have uh, four journal articles on research, peer-reviewed, of experiments that have been done that prove that there is premonition in intuition. The first experiment is broken down in two components. It was done by these guys called McCready, Atkinson, and Bradley, this team of researchers. And what they did is that they got an apparatus of a computer showing pictures with a timer and people would look at pictures and uh, they would have a heart monitor attached to them and a uh, electrical sensor to their skin for rates of change in electrical conductivity on the skin. And what they discovered was pretty amazing. They had two types of pictures that were shown on the computer randomly. Nobody knew what was gonna come up on, this, on the computer screen. And 4.3 seconds before the picture that elicits emotion would come up, there was a registration in the variation of the heartbeat that was different from normal. 4.3, 4.5 around there, you could notice it consistently. And they did this experiment with about 25 to 30 um, subjects, people, and it was amazing. And it's, it's published, and there's part one and part two. It's a fancy title, it's, it's called Electrophysiological Evidence of Intuition, part one, The Surprising Role of the Heart. And part two is a similar, Electrophysiological Evidence of Intuition, part two, a system-wide process, question mark. Okay, so here's what happened. Somebody went and did the same experiment with, uh, with individuals and also with two people simultaneously looking at it on different sides with two different screens of the same picture. And what they found out that when two people sat down and saw and had the same experiment done to them, the signal, uh, the, the, each signal of each person was uh, amplified. It was stronger. Apparently they were tuned into each other. Pretty amazing. And so it not only corroborated uh, the first experiment by the, this other team, but uh, it went farther than that. And that one is called non-local intuition replication and paired subjects enhancement effects. I'm glad I didn't have to title that. And so it's done by uh, Rizal, uh, Mizrael and Zali. These guys are um, uh, from the Middle East. Okay, one last study that was done, and I'll be quick here, is that they had some kind of apparatus connected to people where uh, they analyzed a dilation of the pupil. And what they did is they didn't tell them what kind of sound was coming up next. It was random. A, a, a calm sound or a jolting sound. And what they noticed is that before the jolting sound was gonna come, already the pupil was dilating in a, in a certain direction and the, uh, the, the gauges were registering that. Pretty amazing, isn't it? So anyways, in my work with intuition, these are some of the, what I've bumped into it. There is something to premonition. Intuition is very, very powerful. And there's a sense that people can almost sense or predict the future in terms of what's coming up. 
Maybe it's a quantum thing. I don't know. Anyways, I'm Dr. Sam. Thanks for listening to me. I have more videos on intuition and other subjects. Dr. Sam counsels over the internet via Skype communications, in person at his private practice, and over the phone. To find out more about what it means to be a healthy person or for counseling, please contact Dr. Sam through his website at drsam.tv.